this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I'd like to talk about what's new in the fiber and colon cancer world. Okay, many of you I'm sure are very aware of the connection between colon cancer and the consumption of fiber. Fiber is very protective from getting colon cancer. But there's a little more to that, and I want to go into that today. Practically all of the studies that looked at fiber consumption and its correlation to colorectal cancer come up with the same conclusion, and that is fiber intake protects a person against colon cancer. But the question then arises is really, can you add fiber to any type of food and get the same protection? Or say in another way, is the source of fiber significant? Or is a certain kind of diet needed in order to get maximum protection? Well, these are some of the questions I want to tackle today. So the reason why some confusion exists is because the existence of several hundred of substances which now have been created that actually are considered fiber. Furthermore, it, it's extremely hard to separate fiber from food in order to properly isolate and determine what, which substance is truly causing this magic bullet effect with cancer. So I want to make certain that it's very, very clear that there's no question that high fiber diet is very effective in preventing cancer. The question really is more about which substance provides the most cancer prevention. And it's an important question to answer, actually, because being able to isolate the substance can facilitate the creation of colorectal, colorectal cancer-specific diet that are designed for people at high risk. So if you're at high risk for this colon cancer, I'll say colon cancer instead of colorectal because most people know it as colon cancer. If you're at high risk for colon cancer, you want to know what type of foods you can eat that can most best protect you for colon cancer. So that's what I wanted to get at. So one of the goals of the big study that was done called the China study, this was a study conducted by Dr. Campbell. So one of the big goals of this was to identify the specific elements that make high fiber diets so effective against colon cancer. But because of the difficulty I mentioned earlier that you can't really separate fiber from food and it becomes difficult to find the exact reason, he decided to explore a little differently. His recommendation was to focus on a high fiber plant food based diet, preferably exclusively, in order to acquire the maximum protection against colon cancers. And despite the inability to isolate out the specific substances involved, the fact remained that it was only this type of diet that provided the lowest risk of colon cancer. And he compared it to many other types of diets. Now, there's many people who are at risk of having colon cancer, and they may ask the question, if they still desire to continue eating meat, is there a way they can supplement this diet with some fiber supplements? Can they get that same effect? Well, for those people that ask the question, they might be interested in some studies that I can share with you now. These studies have confirmed that consuming, not supplementing diets with, with 13 grams of dietary fiber from various food sources can actually result in one third less cases of colon cancer. So by supplementing the diet with fiber, you actually can reduce the colon cancer, and that's encouraging. And that might may look like a lot, but the second follow-up study is what I want to share, and this is actually exciting. When people shifted to a purely plant-based diet, so they didn't just supplement with fiber or maybe cut down the meat a little bit, they truly adopted a 100% plant-based diet with very high fiber, they actually enjoyed a nearly 60% less risk of contracting or, or acquiring colon cancer. So 60%. So statistically, that's a very significant difference. And surely it would be more significant if you think of it as two scenarios. One scenario, you have a group of 10 meat eaters, and if you supplement their diet with fiber, 
the net effect is that three of those 10 people will be saved from colon cancer. The second scenario, you have 10 vegans or people who follow the plant-based diet. The net effect is six of those will be saved from colon cancer. So do you want to be in the group of three surviving or the group of six surviving? Putting it in very simple terms. So truly, most people are sensible. If they, if they truly embrace this knowledge, this, this research, and truly understand it, they will choose to be in that plant-based group rather than take their chances with supplementation. After all, even though it's not clear which component of the fiber is most responsible for the colon cancer protection, the importance of knowing this is really overshadowed by the findings that you get the most protection by eating the purely plant-based food. So truly in medicine and in health and in, in many things today, frankly, it's all about results. And so given these findings, these scientific results, it really doesn't get much clearer than this. So I encourage you, particularly if you have colon cancer in your history, please transition toward that plant-based diet. The, the protection you get from the cancer as well as the wonderful health and well-being you will feel from this will be something that you'll be very grateful for. So I hope you found this useful. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.